which can generate temperatures of around 3,500 C. This is old news, but it's in play right German at this moment. Scientists are switching on the world's largest artificial sun in the hope that intense light sources can be used to generate climate-friendly fuel. The seed light experiment in Julek, about 19 miles west of Cologne, consists 149 souped-up film projector spotlights and produces light about 10,000 times the intensity of natural sunlight on Earth. When all the lamps are swiveled to concentrate light on a single spot, the instrument can generate temperatures of around 3,500 C, around 2 to 3 times the temperature of a blast furnace. If you went in the room when it was switched on, you'd burn directly, said Professor Bernard Hofsmith, a research director at the German Aerospace Center, where the experiment is housed in a protective radiation chamber. The aim of the experiment is to come up with the optimal setup for concentrating natural sunlight to power a reaction to produce hydrogen fuel. Solar power stations that use mirrors to focus sunlight onto water are already well established. These work by harnessing heat from the sun to produce steam that turns turbines and generates electricity. The sunlight experiment is investigating the possibility that a similar setup could be used to power a reaction to extract hydrogen from water vapor, which could then be used as a fuel source for aeroplanes and cars. Sunlight currently uses a vast amount of energy, four hours of operation consumes as much electricity as a four-person household in a year, but scientists hope that in the future natural sunlight could be used to produce hydrogen in a carbon-neutral way. We'd need billions of tons of hydrogen if we wanted to They can have up to 10 to 12 at any time in the storm system. Climate so change is speeding up, so we need to speed up it.